Hey everyone, Zde here, and today we're checking out the desk text Elise Strap with headphones for Quest 2. As you can tell by my voice and I guess a little bit by my color of the face, <laughs> I look a little bit pale. I got myself into a sickness recently, but the videos have to keep rolling, especially that we're before Christmas period, which is the most chaotic <laughs> time of the year. We're still doing the Quest 2 stuff because it's not like Pro replaced everything. Nowadays I use this LD for other people to play it at my place or sometimes I have to get back into it because some developers didn't uh, bother turning on the cloud saving system for other headsets to use. I feel like at this point there's no excuse because Meta made it way easier than it was before so you will certainly see some quest to content coming up in which i had really no choice doing so so today on the palette we have a custom design head strap from desk deck when i was reached out with an offer to try this out what immediately stood out for me is that it's kind of like all in one package you pretty much have everything included in it to properly enjoy standalone content that this headset provides and as we all know buying separates can be sometimes a struggle so at at first glance, concept-wise, it really intrigued me. Now, to this day, I've been using the Kiwi Elite Strap, which <laughs> served me really well. For my head specifically, it's a perfect design because I need something on top to kinda lift the pressure from my head that the headset makes essentially, topped with a leather pad on the back of my head, and that really made my experience perfectly comfortable. This is what we have for today, like the whole design of the headset. It kinda implies on the back there should be a battery to kinda distribute the weight of it, but I got the version without it so we're gonna talk about that. This strap has a leather pad on the back of the head and something that's like adjustable all across the skull. The quality of it is pretty nice because it bounces off and it's not like a cheap pretty much version of leather that some manufacturers provide to minimize the costs. What's interesting is that this fit is pretty much universal for every person on the earth because it really can be big and small and just in all directions depending on your head structure head and just stuff like that you can easily adjust it to your personal needs i do feel like the pad should go all the way across the plastic because sometimes your head can touch it which in like prolonged sessions it's not gonna be very comfortable unless you just wear it on top of your head and not like deep down it is easily adjustable just like any other head strap it goes small and it goes very big so you have the whole variety regardless Regarding the headphones, they're here on the side which you can just unplug it and then put it like in a socket. Very convenient in place and it's not like a struggle to get it out. The headphones themselves are adjustable with the length and just you can pull it out and then put it in your ear. It's a very thin, thin cable, so just make sure to not be very strong with it and pull it too much that is needed. And when you're done, you just press this button and then it pulls in to the strap. Very convenient, it's not like you have separates to put it in and then pull out store somewhere everything is like in one place quality wise comparing to the bass ones that i used for my quest one i didn't really feel the difference like it was pretty much all the same the problem however i'm a little bit sickly so i can't hear like a little bit on my one ear so my impressions on it might be a little bit altered but it's not bad at all concerning the top strap and the whole experience when you get it out from the package you definitely need a lot of time to think where you should put like this thing and then how much to adjust it. It is meant to like lift off the weight from the face so if it's gonna be too heavy on the front then you either tighten it and then it kind of lifts up the whole strap or shift the pressure more on the forehead so then it's gonna be like distributed between the two places. Once you get the fit properly pretty much everything works at that point. It is very bulky like it does not seem to be breaking anytime soon unlike my previous elite strap with Meta though it is very much home experience because packing it with the whole size it's gonna be a struggle i feel like that's all my notes i have for it for now everyone has their preference in terms of head straps for vr this one i like because you don't need nothing else to buy you're just ready to go with one thing because it includes everything the whole fit and installation is not for like beginners but if you know what you're doing then it should serve you well for a pretty long time 
up until Quest 3 releases. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions about it, I'm gonna be trying it out more here in the studio. Bear with me with my sickness and stuff, I have to push through as always. But it's not like I'm forcing myself to do it, I'm perfectly content with the stuff that I'm putting out and no little cold will stop me from doing so. See you around!